Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be making a deep dive into one of my favorite baits, the Mega Bass 6 inch Mag Draft. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the Mag Draft is a, it's by Mega Bass. Mega Bass is a higher end Japanese company. Many of you probably know them for First of all, how great the baits are, also how expensive the baits are, but these baits, the Meg Best Mag Draft, though it is a soft plastic bait coming in at $13, in my opinion, it's a good price for what you're getting. Because on the outside, it looks like a normal swim bait, but this thing has some features that makes it, in my opinion, much better than a lot of its competitors. So, the bait comes in at 6 inches long, and I hate to misquote, I think it's better than one and a quarter ounces so you can you get away with it on something like a medium heavy rod but in my opinion you like to step up to more of a heavy a flipping stick is not needed for this nor a swim bait rod you can throw it on a lighter swim bait rod with something rated from like half ounce or three quarter to like three ounces you can but in my opinion a, like a heavy action rod with a little bit more of a moderate taper is really all you need for this is really a crosshair bait if you're trying to get into some bigger swim baits without going crazy going to something like the 8 inch mag draft or the 10 inch mag draft so the 6 inch was just a really great crossover bait for me getting in more into swim baits now the swimming action is what really gets me and makes me believe that this is such a spe such a special bait that i really do believe in so as you can see on the outside kind of looks like a normal swim bait just kind of normal but if, if you look at the top if you see, it's really just through the entire bait. A lot of baits, I'm gonna do a little comparison in a minute, but they usually taper down pretty thin and they, they, they have a really great kick. Something like, I'll do a comparison in a minute, but like a Kai Tech or something like that. This is a different tail. It is not that super like, uh, like free, like flapping tail, like very fast kicking, but it's also not a slow kicking tail. It looks like a very frantic, almost, wounded bait fish in my opinion it tapers down it's pretty thick throughout the entire body it doesn't taper down really thin and um i, I was watching some other through some of my research i was um seeing how even like like the lateral line it creates like a draft behind the bait i don't really notice that what i do notice is just the action it's not just a lot of tail kick and it's not just a lot of head movement it's both i'll do i'll do it underwater video in a minute i'll show you um the underwater action actually you no know let's roll into that right now so as you can see it has a lot of head movement but in return the tail has a very tight but not like wide kick it has a very like quick like that it's very frantic as the head kind of moves like that and it looks just so great in the water and i think it's just so i'll do a little bay comparison right now i think it just looks in the certain scenarios where i think is where i throw this a lot it just really gives me that extra edge so first of all one of my other favorite baits but i'm just going to compare it to it right here because it's different is the kai tech so this is the Kytec 5.8. It's probably the most similar size to the Magdraft. So that's a Kytec. And let's let's give you a new color. Let's go. Here we go. Go this nude rainbow color. Little small trout pattern. So si similar in size. First of all, this has a little bit more realism, a little bit more lifelike. But if you see this, see how that's much thicker and much more like meteor plastic, while this has like all those ribs and it tapers down really thin. First of all, I love Kytex, one of my favorite baits of all time, but I just wanna show you how much different and in my opinion, special this bait is right here. So a Kytex, it has very wide, very like wide tail kick, just like that. The head moves a little bit, but it's, for us, it's a very wide tail kick and it gets them on the way down, it will swim. It's an awesome bait, but this bait, it's much more like, I really don't have the chart. You saw in the swimming action, it just looks really killer in the water, and it's different. It's something like this. I'll roll another bait right here. Something like Huddleston. 
obviously, most people know what a Huddleston is. Probably, usually the 8-inch, but this, it's just the Huddleston brand. Probably one of the best big bass catchers of all time. Huddleston, mag draft. Huddleston has very... It just doesn't have a lot of head movement. Better colder water bait that you can't throw it all year round. You kind of just go like this very, very slow. You can go as slow as you want with it. As slow as you want. And it's really not going to do anything. And the mag draft, feeling like a dead horse, but it's just a lot different. It's just very quick head movements. And just, I think that it just really, really get some when other baits don't and they're seeing a lot of things like Huddleston's I would go with Huddleston colder water there's a little bit warmer water while well, I will go into that in a minute and then Kai Tech it's just when everyone's throwing a Kai Tech and you want to throw something a little bit different I would treat this if you want to try to get in something and you're a little scared of this uh Chris Dalbane who really put this bait on the map was saying treat it like a spinner bait if any time that you would throw a spinner bait or I guess not chatter bait that's more graph but just like a Moving bait down the bank, sub this in for this, and see what happens. It is a killer bait, and it's just, it really is, really is that great. So the applications. When I like to fish this bait, it's a, it's a warmer water bait. It's a more warmer water bait for me. I wouldn't fish it in cold water because this bait, it has a sweet spot in the retrieve. If you go too slow, it doesn't really have the right action, just kind of like, kind of goes to the water like this nothing really and if you go too fast it kind of like it starts getting too crazy it may roll a little bit but if you find that perfect speed just like a nice smooth steady semi quick retrieve but still kind of slow it will have that perfect head wobble and that perfect tail so in my opinion this is a better warmer water bait anywhere from you can fish it a little bit pre-spawn but i would say around yeah like a little bit pre-spawn post-spawn summertime fall until it starts getting i would say it's mid 50s and up and this can thing can work all through the summer it's just a killer bait all right i wasn't i didn't for, i was gonna forget to talk about this but i quickly want to add this in right now uh storing these baits uh, as you can see they come in this package right here they have like a mega bass like cardboard thing around it it's like but that comes right off in the beginning, I was making the mistake of taking them out of the package, throwing all the packaging out, and you're left with just the baits. When you put these down in your boxes and go like that, tails they get a little kinked, and you can kind of boil them back and kind of try to fix them. But I just like keeping this that awesome swimming action like it was right in the box because if a bait like this gets kinked, it's so soft. Like here we go. Here, here's another thing. If take like a high tech, and you hold this thing and hold it like that. Look at that thing, it's so soft, so limber. But then, when you hold something like this, see what's much more rigid? When when these get kinked, they like to kind of stay in that kinked state, and you have to really try to fix them, and it just, I just don't like that action. And it just really kind of, it, you'll still catch fish, but it's just not as great as when it first comes out. So, easy fix to that. When you get the packaging, you don't need to keep all the cardboard. This, keep this little plastic thing. Open that up. There's your baits. And you can store them just like this. So I have only two out of my four mag drafts had those. But these guys are not getting kinked at all. Perfect like they were just out of the package. Just wanted to tell you that so you don't throw these out until you get some of these. So, let's talk about some color. Now, typical Mega Bass. They have so many colors, which ones you choose, in my opinion, just keep it simple. Keep it simple, uh, focus on what forage is around you. Uh, apart from a few ones I'm going to say, some baits, uh, I would focus on the forage. You don't need 10,000 colors. I have four colors. The one that I probably would add is some kind of whitish, like shad type color. Like they make, they, they make one called whiteback shad. So I have the trout pattern. This is the nude rainbow color. It's just a great, they have a few other trout patterns I guess, but it's a nice just kind of neutral black back, more whitish pearlish bottom with the nice spots and lateral line. Great trout color. And then here in the northeast we have some perch. So they have perch color. That's a nice color right there. I haven't got anything on this guy, but nice color. 
This one's a, it's a MB Gizzard, stands for Mega Bass Gizzard. This is one I've been showing you a little bit. This guy has like a whiter bottom with a kind of like a greenish top and a pink ladder line. It's a really, really nice color. I may, I may throw in some up close shots at some point in this video. Probably it's kind of like a B roll at the beginning or the end. Uh, but this, it, it's just actually a really versatile color. It can mimic like a trout because that like ladder line, the greenish, blackish top, greenish top. But also, this is a great gizzard chat imitator. Like a art. Not really gizzard chat, but it's like a nice. It can look like a chat, it can look like a trout. Really great color, just all around, clear watercolor, killer. Now, if I was going to recommend one color of this day, and I throw these colors, and I own them because I have them to use, but I have thrown this one color right here more, and I've caught way more fish on this than any of the other colors. And this color is a must-have, must, 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 must-have. This is the brownie color. As you can see, doesn't really look like anything. It doesn't really look like a lot. It can look kind of like a shiner, but it doesn't really look like any bait fish that there really is. I mean, I'm sure there, it kind of looks like something, but it doesn't really look like anything. It looks a little bit like everything, and it just, this color absolutely kills them. Um, actually, one second. I'm going to show in some up-close shots right now. I'm going to flip the camera around, show you some closer shots of all the teeth marks that, is, that are on this bait. So here's a more up-close shot of the brownie color, as you can see. Nice brown top with that bottom, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you can quickly see just look at all those teeth marks on the top. Over there, up there on the top, they came down, like, splitting it open right there. And these baits are very durable. It's not like a one fish bait. You can get a ton of fish out of these. I have one of these retired because it kind of caught my personal best of a five pounder here in Connecticut. So yeah, that's that brownie color. You can see all the teeth marks that are on that bait. It gets bit. Getting one color, must have. One more thing about the brownie color, especially in tannic water. You know, I think you don't probably what tannic water is. It's like still clear water, but it's like dark. Usually when there's a lot of pine needles, the water gets pretty tannic. This color glows. I, not actually glows, but it, like, it just like stands out in that tannic water. And one of the first times I was throwing this, or not one of the first time, but one of the first time I really fished this in like really tannic water, I put this thing in the water and I'm like, wow. That is interesting. This thing just stood out so much and within a half an hour, oh, hate saying this, but I lost something that was massive. Probably six to... In this one spot, it's a smaller lake. It's trout stocked, and there are 10 pounders in there. Like, actually, actual fish over 10 pounds. This thing felt bigger than anything I've ever hooked into in the tannic water. Fish in this mag draft, pretty sure it was over six, and it was just... I lost it. Yeah, I lost it. It that sucked, but <laughs> the magda and the brownie must have. All right, before we move on to the next little segment, I want to add one more thing about the design. I forgot to kind of talk about why it's called the mag draft. As you can see, this is not like a pre break thing. It's not a line through. There is a harness right there. It has a swivel so the fish can, when they come and eat that, they can spin and and the bait will not get tangled up and bound up so they can't get leverage to shake the hook. And as you can see, some baits don't have as good of a magnet as the others, but they have a magnet right there. Magnet right there. So as you can see, boop. So that will hold that hook right in place. When they don't have a stronger magnet, they also have a little belly slit right there. So you can basically stick one of the points right up in there, and the magnet will hold it just like that. So that's just a really cool feature. You don't have to do any rigging. Take it out of the box. Some people like to put like a little swivel or a split ring. I kind of fish it normally. You can. A lot of people say like with the bigger sizes do that, but really, if you want to, take it out of the box, fish it. That's how I've caught all my fish in this bait. So one last thing. All right, let's move on. All right, so last but not least, I want to talk about some of my personal experience with this bait. Uh, so right now I'm filming this in mid, early to mid August, and I got this bait. I think about a year ago mid-August, maybe a little bit early, maybe a little bit later, but I fished with it for about a year. First time I went out with it, I caught my first fish on it, 
fairly quickly. Next time I caught a giant crappie, like a 16 inch, two pound crappie. It was crazy. Um, and I caught a few other bass that time. And then next time I'm out with it, or maybe, I don't know, the next time, but like pretty soon after that, mid September, went out to a pond that I fished sometimes on like a little paddle boat. Just took my PB of five pounds in this bait. It was raining, tannic water. Again, brownie color. On this brownie color, that one's hanging out in my room, but exact same bait, just different color. And sorry if you can hear my neighbors talking, they're having a conversation over there in the middle of my video. And overall, I've just caught a lot of fish, too crappie for some reason. Apparently, I've only caught, in, or actually, now I've caught in four. Uh, caught, and that's not a word. I've caught four crappie. Um, but my last two have been on like chatterbaits for some reason, but my first two are ever crappie. We're both on this bait right here, so I'm not sure what is the problem with this thing, but crappie like it too. So I've caught and caught, I don't want to keep on saying caught, and that's not a word. Uh, so I've caught just a bunch of fish on this, and it's just a killer bait, and I absolutely do recommend it. Do recommend it. So, I think that's enough. Let's head out to the outro. Alright guys, so, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, uh, the review of the Mega Bass 6 inch mag draft. So, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one.